As I was nearing the completion of the writing of my book, one of my clients asked me, George, it's almost time for the finality, you know, the, the, the moment of letting go your book into the world. How is it feeling? And I, I paused for a moment because I actually haven't been thinking about my book in that way. I've just been kind of going along on a regular process every week. I work on my book for about two to three hours and just take the next step and then continue on, you know, just kind of almost casually. Of course, I had a, I had a plan, but every time I worked on it, it was just, okay, let me just kind of take the next step. Not a big deal. I'm not really attached to what the outcome is. It doesn't have to be a New York Times bestseller or even an Amazon bestseller, whatever. Just, you know, take the next step and then complete it and then publish it. That's it. And then move on to the next thing. So that's how, that's how I, I relate it to the writing and publishing of the book. Not some kind of big deal where I'm like, oh, I'm so nervous. And I think that this is, I wanted to talk about this because this is actually how I see a lot of my work. Um, whereas, which I think makes my work really sustainable. There's not a lot of stress. It's just there's discipline and there's consistency in taking small steps every day. But there's not a lot of stress in like hoping this one launch must go well or else. And I see some of my clients and friends and colleagues doing that. And to be honest, I used to do that myself. I used to have these big launches and lots of anticipation. And sometimes they do okay and sometimes they flop. And it's really discouraging when it flops, right? And it's um, not just discouraging, it could send me into some depression for a while. And so and this also reminds me of a, a talk that I, a short talk I heard from Alan Watts, the philosopher, which I will um, quote in the notes of this video. But he was saying basically, you know, when you look hard at something, when you try to pay real close attention and try to, what happens is you get these intense muscles in your face, like looking hard, trying to figure something out or trying to listen hard, right? And it doesn't really help with clarity and the, the seeing more clearly. In fact, if you try to look hard, try to squint your eyes on the card, it kind of, you don't get as clear of a view as if you would just kind of close your eyes for a moment and then open it back up and just let the images come to you. Okay? And that's kind of how I approach my work is from this, from this, relax, this deep relaxation of just, ah, I'm just going to take the next step. I'm not scrunching my face and like pulling myself up from my bootstraps and I'm not hustling in that sense of the word. I'm just taking the next step in a very consistent way and then letting the results be however they are and of course noticing what seems to get good results and what I can learn from that and maybe what didn't get good results and what can I do differently next time. But it's, a, it's this kind of deep relaxation as I work um, that knows, I think foundationally, that I will be taken care of. Now, to be clear, I'm not a trust fund kid. Uh, I have to make my own money to be able to survive and live like most people do. But I have this deep foundational feeling that on a profound basis that I don't know why, well, I do, I, I believe it's because of God. I mean, that's my personal beliefs, but I hope you will tap into that own foundational security that is that makes sense to you, whatever your philosophy is, that you will be taken care of deeply, that there are no mistakes truly, and that you can just keep taking the next steps and next steps and next steps towards your vision in a deeply relaxed and service-oriented way. And you will see success uh, along the way. And really, the whole journey is the journey of success if you stay connected to your eternal source of support and move from there.